But is it Crocs, Crocs and socks? socks. There we go. I'm going to have to get used to Crocs, that at some point. His Crocs are in the socks. That is correct. Not vice versa. You're right. That'd be weird if you had the Crocs over the socks. But in any event, so I'm interested to see how this will play out. Of course, you cannot sleep on Crocs and Socks. He has a, he has a few wins on some New York City players, but he hasn't been out in, I believe, quite a little bit. I think yeah. he, started making a, he started coming back uh, recently. And yeah. very happy to see that he's made it out even to defend the North. It's great to see him out. He, I think he was at Smash Hounds also. I'm sorry? He was at Smash Hounds also. Oh, the previous yeah, tournament. he was. Yeah, he absolutely was, yes. But according, but with this matchup, though, even though Salty Fun is just a commentator, he does dabble in the game a bit. Uh huh. And Yoshi does win this matchup. Yeah. It's one of the few matchups Yoshi does win. So I like to see what Salty Fun implements and against a regular <gasps> player. Oh man. Oof. Against a regular player like um, Croc and Sox, and see how it goes. Yeah, the Salty Fun is no slouch. I've seen him get top eight at Undiscovered Realms uh, tournament on Tuesdays. And, uh, and also, he goes pretty deep at Xeno, too. So he's not someone you can sleep on. Yeah. He, you can go over his commentator, but he may not be 100%. He's more than a public speaker. <laughs> <laughs> and speaker again, of the mic. And now, uh, Krokosok's had a little bit of uh, trouble getting some more damage on Salty Fun. He's uh, only basically like they get like 50% more uh, separating them. Uh, a lot of more projectile game. They're not going in on each other. Definitely, rightfully so. Oh, oh that was nice. He got the jab in the middle of the spin. Yeah. Oh. Not, still not it, though. Oh, he tried, oh okay. to, he tried to egg him. He definitely tried to egg him. And what was it? I toss into up air. Usual Yoshi combo. That freaking short Yoshi tail, man. Doing some damage on you. Oh, going for the immediate pressure right there. And you saw that perfect pivot bat? Mm-hmm. I didn't even know Salty Fun could even know how to perfect pivot. <laughs> I didn't even know he knew what it was. And, you know, it's Salty Fun has definitely leveled up in the last couple of months. Like I said, like when he, when he uh, came uh, to the tournament here in Westchester, he wasn't. He would he would actually do better in New York than Westchester. And only recently he's actually getting deep. So he's been leveling up not only here but in New York City as well. And you can yeah. show he's, he's he's putting in some work. He's in defending North. He wants to show that he's again not just a commentator. Oh my goodness! He he, wow. Man. Salty oh my fun, goodness. Salty Fun can't do too good because yeah. he has to commentate top eight <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> now, I wonder if that's, that would be an interesting predicament. I don't even want to imagine that. No, Let's yeah. just see I'll how just it, take a spot. <laughs> Let's see how that plays out for now. But uh, again, um, Krokensox definitely has a tough time taking his stocks. Um, even at 104%, he's, he's not having a, a good time taking his Oh, a little nope. bit of nice follow-up. Back air, avoiding it. And Yoshi's, these eggs are just killing the Gordos. And let's see, follow up from Salty Fun. Not going to take the stock yet. He just wants to throw some eggs, get a projectile, then run in. He was reading the Four roll. Point. Oh, at the tail hit from the front. Okay. Yoshi's tail is kind of underutilized. I think back air is oh. actually one of her better moves. And the eggs just saving his life. For real. That, that would have been the stock. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Can this be stock? No, gets out no. instead. And one Yoshi L Smash can't take it. Yes. But one good read <gasps> right Ooh, there. Ooh, first stock. And now, again, at 147%, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Salty Fun just laughing and taunting. And there's the DDD taunt. That's the taunt the DDD needs. That's, that's the true taunt. <laughs> so now, uh, again, at 147%, <laughs> at 147%, it's going to be a tough time for uh, Croc and Sox, unless he can bring it back. You never know. Oh, Salty right. Fun looking for those nares. Oh my goodness. Are we really seeing this comeback right now? No. Oh. Pushing them off stage. Fair not taking it. Oh, he, oh, oh. there was no follow up. I, I wonder if that was a miss input because it definitely would have been a down B follow up or, or something, but didn't, yeah. didn't even connect or come maybe, out. Maybe he wasn't even like prepared for the hit. Possibly. And that's what you get for uh, cracking your eggs, man. Oh, that oh, was a nice follow-up. hitting it back. Well, at 182 right now. And I was talking about uh, DS main of uh, uh, Croc and Sox having trouble taking uh, a stock from Salty Fun. Salty Fun's having a trouble taking the final stock to get yeah. this first game. He's been, he's been at these high percents for a while. And, and you're look just at the timer. We're almost at one minute left. Oh, I don't even think they realize. Yeah, they're still playing this game super patient right now. Oh, my goodness. 
This is looking like a John Numbers game. Yeah, seriously. Oh my God, the memories of Defend the North two, three, two years ago. Oh, oh no, that wasn't Numbers. That was uh, Sinji and J-Tail, sorry. There's the stock. Yeah. And there's the sad face from Salty Fun. Girl, they'll take it. No, I, I, I still remember uh, two years ago, Salty Fun and I calling um, J-Tails versus Sinji, and that match almost went to double overtime. <laughs> that was that was insane. But look at that. Final that must have been up. awful. <laughs> Diddy versus versus Pac-Man. Salty Fun is just team. trying to remember the good those times. That's why he's trying to time out. He, he wants to, yeah, he wants to bring it back. It's a throwback. He's like, you're not DS me, you're Croc and Socks now. Time you out. These DDs are back. scared. We're going back to FD. Let's see if we can push this to six minutes and maybe overtime. Don't I'm, make it happen. <laughs> what would you wish for that? I know, right? So let's see if it goes faster then. <laughs> or maybe it'll go in the middle. Yeah. Let's, Salty Foot looks like he's just trying, going for a lot more egglies. He was doing that towards the end of the game, but misspacing them. But he seems to have found the spacing right there. Oh, dash grab. Not working out. Oh, yeah. That was a nice follow up at the neutral there. Didn't connect, though. Man, he's all over um, uh, Krokensock's recovery right now. He's looking really crisp right now. But again, this is how Salty Foot looked in the first game, and Krokensock's is still able to bring it back. Yeah. He came out with an early lead to begin with. The ledge, just <laughs> waiting here, just chilling. Cool. Okay, that there was. He needs to pressure DD off stage. Not not when he's up being, because he just has too much armor. Yes. But when DD do, doing his like little jumps, you can like pressure him a bit. Or at least make him go for a fair and whip punish that. And I'm wondering if Salty doesn't want to do that, maybe because he's scared of uh, losing uh, Yoshi's jump? Probably. Because then after that, you're just egging to your death. <laughs> or at least egging, yeah. hoping you can make it back And safe. the backer takes it. So first stock now for uh, for Krokensox this time around. So he has the advantage. A slight advantage, but still an advantage nonetheless. A lead's a lead. Indeed. Oh, and there is the forward, uh, the forward What's air. What's a lead to the Yoshi Fair, though? Yeah, exactly. Oh, now, yeah, now they're going back and forth. Now they're trading blow for blow. This is what we call a slugfest, Rick. There you go. Now it's just projectiles. Now it's just everything's coming out right now. Now they're, now they're both going ham. When did we just turn up? Yeah. They're like, yo, last game was a timeout. Let's put something inside for the fans. We can't be known as the boring players. Oh, man. Oh, one more? Oh. Too far from him. Got to try to get the egg instead to follow up with another up air. And now they're at percentages. Yeah. This is amazing. Another one. Another one. Egg toss. Projectile City right now. Let's see who's going to. Oh, my goodness. Not yet. Oh my goodness. Let's see if Tony Fun can follow it up. Is this going to be yeah. the stock? He went for grab. I don't agree with it. Maybe he wanted to go for a fair off stage. Oh, and. Maybe. Cause, but again, he's not going on stage and chasing him, just like you were saying. You wanted to see Salty Fun do it. He's still not doing it. He'd rather just throw projectiles. Oh, oh my goodness. All the show. And then the other thing is, too, this is full rage uh, DDD. Up smash? Oh my goodness. Oh, roll in the. Oh! I thought he followed up with something else, but instead he goes for the neutral there. This is scary. It is. And this is such a tense match. And oh my goodness, I mean it! Oh, and that's yeah, it. Yeah, that takes it. 2 0. You know, Crocs and Sox still is good sport, though. He still smiles, gives the fist bump. Yeah. Better than me. I wouldn't have given that fist bump. All right. So now we have. Uh, oh man, that's just such a good replay. Welcome back, everybody. I am Papa Rick alongside with Cyanide Player 4. We're coming to you live from White Plains, New York.